Turning now to the latest on the Paw Sox and their future move to Worcester, Massachusetts. Today we caught up with House Speaker Nick Mattiello to get his thoughts on the deal that would have kept the team in Rhode Island. Some lawmakers put the blame on Mattiello for the team leaving. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in the newsroom with the new details. Caroline? Well, Shannon and Mike, after the team announced its move to Worcester, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello repeatedly declined our request for an on-camera interview. But we caught up with him today during an event at the new Tiverton Casino. Here's what he had to say. The outcome is the outcome, which of course saddens me because the Paw Sox have been an institution for a long time. Now, since the Paw Sox announced the team is leaving Rhode Island, several legislators have placed the blame on the House Speaker. A financing deal worked out between the governor's administration, the city of Pawtucket, and the team's owners passed the Senate back in January. But that plan was dead on arrival in the House, where Speaker Mattiello opposed it as too risky for taxpayers. A revised version ended up passing the General Assembly and was signed by the governor in June. But ultimately, it was Worcester's deal that lured the team to Massachusetts. The House Speaker says his focus now is on the future future of McCoy Stadium. What I'm hopeful for right now is that we actually uh, come up with an economic development plan that is even better for Pawtucket because the stadium that's going to be used 60 days per year, it's, it's, it's economic development, but it may not be as good as something else. Now, we did reach out to Paw Sox officials after our interview with the House Speaker earlier today, but they declined to comment. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.